Hello, we are in beautiful Beirut, Lebanon for the World Allergy Organization 2019 WIS Conference, which is co-sponsored by the World Allergy Organization and the Lebanese Society of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. Over the past three days, we have been hearing the latest developments and key findings in precision medicine for allergy and clinical immunology. And here with me today is one of those prestigious international speakers, Dr. Brian Martin. And he's going to share with us some key findings from one of the topics that he presented this week. Dr. Martin, what topic have you chosen to share with us today? I wanted to speak about anaphylaxis because anaphylaxis is a, is a worldwide problem and is increasing in prevalence uh, worldwide. And one of the things that I wanted to focus on was the fact that the allergist immunologist is one of the key players in the treatment of anaphylaxis because although we don't typically treat the patient who's having an acute anaphylaxis, it's the allergist and immunologist who is responsible for, for finding what it is that the patient is allergic to and cause the anaphylaxis and teaching the entire team to include the emergency room doctors, our family practice doctors and their team, the school and the, where the patient will go and their team, and the patient and their family about how best to treat anaphylaxis and to care for the, the condition. So what would be the key message you would want to send to allergists and to primary care physicians on how and when to start treatment for anaphylaxis? So when a patient has anaphylaxis, I think the most important thing is to focus on the fact that anaphylaxis has to be a team effort and that we have to work together to both treat the initial anaphylaxis and then to find what it is that, that was the offending agent and help the patient learn how to avoid it. I think from the patient's perspective, there's the fear of using that epinephrine auto-injector as they've been told to do. What techniques do you use to convince the patient that that is the correct approach and that it is safe? There's really interesting data that when, it, that's such a good question because there's interesting data that even when we teach patients how to use the auto injector and they demonstrate in the office that they know how to use it, when it comes time that they, that they need to use it, they often either don't use it or use it incorrectly. So I think it's critically important that we not only teach them how to use it, but also teach them why we want them to do it and what the expected effects of the medication are so that they're not quite so afraid of using this shot. And if, if they're having anaphylaxis, the patient wants to know, can I use the antihistamine or should I take some steroid dose pack in lieu of taking that epinephrine. This is why it's so important for the allergist immunologist to be the, the primary educator because the treatment for anaphylaxis is IM epinephrine. Certainly we can use other medications like antihistamines as a second line drug for itching or for a rash, but the treatment for anaphylaxis we have to just absolutely focus on is I am epinephrine and so that's one of the key teaching points that we make with patients and with our colleagues in family medicine, internal medicine, pediatrics, and emergency medicine. And for our final question, what area of research, if you had an unlimited budget, let's say five million dollars, would you put that money toward in the area of anaphylaxis over the next five years? I think we've already discussed one of the biggest problems and that is the fact that epinephrine comes in a shot. And if we were to find a different way to provide that same level of medication, I think that would be effective and would allow the patients to be more comfortable in utilizing that particular medication. So I think that's the primary area of focus in, in that regard. And thank you, Brian, so much for meeting with us today and sharing your knowledge on very exciting and important topic of anaphylaxis. Thank you so much and thank you for having us in, in Beirut.